Welcome to the gap. This is gap. They should have never gave you platform. Y'all know a segment we about to get into. We about to get into the sad, sad. segment. And today, I got to talk about this movie right here. The Pope's Exorcist on Netflix. Yeah. You want to know something? I found this movie actually to be pretty good. And actually, what blew my mind about this movie wasn't even the movie itself. I know it's Exorcist. I know they be having the kids walking on fours and the kids demon heads turn their head back and crawling on walls and saying a whole bunch of demonic stuff. But that didn't blow my mind. What blew my mind was this morning that I just found out the main actor was Russell Crowe. What? What? I was like, that's Russell Crowe? What? For one of my favorite movies, Gladiator. Yeah. I didn't even know I was Russell Crowe. I was like, what? Blew my mind. I know. It sounds crazy. Because the exorcist is... The I'm going to tell you about it. You feel me? After I give y'all, like, you know, the stats, the scores, and stuff like that. Um, But, yeah. It, anyway. Since I'm a stat teacher, let me give you the stats. So, INDB gave it a 6.1. And Rotten Tomatoes gave it a 48%. While the people gave it a 68%. Um, you know what? I'm going to say frick y'all. Because this is the thing. I could see people seeing this movie being bad. You know what I mean? Um, because at one point, I felt they were dragging out the storyline. To hit that close to two hour mark. Because when it comes to the Exorcist movies, they always try to hit that two hour mark. And I felt this one was being dragged on. I'm like, okay, we could. this could have been done in an uh, hour and 30 minutes. This didn't need to be an hour and 52 minutes. Okay? But to to me, the movie was actually pretty good. I mean, the stunts was pretty good. The 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 whole demonic thing was pretty good. Hell, even the storyline, how they played it off. I was like, oh, okay, that's kind of clever. You know what I mean? Um, you know what I mean? Essentially, Russell Crowe, he's the main priest. They have other actors, but, bro, he's the main dude. He's the one they can focus on the most. And then they, oh, oh, yeah. That's the cast. I mean, y'all did good, did good too. Other cast members, y'all did good too. Y'all acting was good, but let's. See. All right, let me give y'all the plot. So basically, Russell Crowe, he's um, and I can't. Ga Gabriel, Gabriel was his priest name, but they got some other thing in front of it. Whatever. He's the main priest, right? And he done did some exorcism. But he he's more of like, his angle is more of like, some people are BSing about being possessed. And some people are not. And you just got to figure it out. So with that being said, this other family moved into this house because the typical, we can't afford nothing but this house. But we're going to build this creepy ass mansion. We're going to redecorate it and get it booming. And then what happens? The most innocent of the innocent of their family group get possessed. And who is that? The, the, little, the little boy. He got possessed by the demon. Then later on, the teenage daughter got possessed too. Like, I didn't see, I didn't see that coming. I was like, what? This demon is something else. And that's the thing about exorcist. Exorcist is basically a demon possessing somebody's body and an exorcist is basically you're exorcising the demon out of this person but this demon wasn't having it the demon wanted that pope hell the demon was like how fleece johnson is on booty what? he wanted it and he gonna get it and that's how this demon was to russell crowe i know i keep calling him russell crowe i'm not calling him by his damn Stage name of the movie. I'm gonna call him Russell Crowe, okay? And then what happened was that uh they sent in this rookie priest. Rookie priest went in there, demon 
light work for the demon. You know what I mean? It, I, I'll say this. This is another thing that startled me. I think I heard the little boy say, he said, suck my dick to his mom. What? Whoa. This is a different type of demon. And they mean on demon time. This, I, I don't know if they meant that. I was like, whoa. What if that boy was black? That mama would have beat the demon out of bruh. <laughs> the demon would have been like, all right, enough. All, oh, oh. And it's crazy because, you know, the, the demons, they feed off of hate. And they feed off that. But we, we know the power of the belt and the, the mama or grandma strength. I think that demon wouldn't stand a chance if that was a black boy telling his mama suck his, you know what? But I digress. Um, yeah. Uh, so then sent the rookie, damn priest. He got his ass molly whopped, washed up. Demon hit him with a hadouken, and he went whoop right into the glass. Right, and so then Russell Crowe going there and was like tried his little trickety tricks to his priest stuff was like. And a demon was like, oh, you was a hoe. Russell Crowe, I'm going to get your ass. I want you. And then they went to like, you know, because the exorcist, they have to go find out the origin of the demon and all that. And it was basically some, some with the Vatican or something. I don't know. That's how I could see another reason why this movie probably didn't do too good. Because I told it was too, it's too much fluff. So then you start really forgetting kind of like the purpose of the story but then they tie it back in and that was my only gripe I'm like y'all made this too long which made it too much fluff which then kind of took away from the kind of goodness of this damn movie um but then they did that went to the damn dungeon or whatever got the uh found out what the demon was who the demon wanted the demon wanted him you feel me the demon wanted that pope because he was the god he was like the Michael Jordan of exorcists. So Damien was like, you know what? I'm tired of hearing this about this nigga. I'm tired of hearing about his ass. I'm going to get him. What happened? Went there, tried to do the exorcist. And he did the exorcist. He completed it. But the demon went into him. And now he's the the demon pope and then he told him he was like lock me away just throw away the damn key and lock me away while he saves the rest of the family but the way that demon had the other family i was like yo is he gonna take over the mom next he took over the son he took over the teenage daughter the teenage daughter starts spewing shit like ah, if your god is real how come i'm beating your ass right now you like whoa And she said that to her mama. I was like, this demon got no respect. This demon got no damn respect. Damn. Didn't say it to the priest. You feel me? The boy was the one talking shit to the priest. You know what I mean? Calling them all type of cocksuckers. And... Oh, and that other priest, that the rookie priest, I guess he uh he fell victim to the flesh. You feel me? Because, um, yeah, they were like, oh, I think that's what it was. They were playing to, like, the, the girl was, like, not up to age. I think she was, like, 17, 16 for what they portraying. And they were like, yeah, rookie priest. We know you want to tap them cheeks. And it's like, wow. That is disturbing. And he was like, and the rookie priest was like, no. Oh. Oh, they pulling up my my darkest and deepest fantasies. Oh, I can't do it. So, rookie priest, Saranara, out of there. And like I said, at the very end, Russell Crowe priest, he went in there, did his exorcist thing, and the demon went into him, and he told them people, lock me away. I'm going to whoop this uh, demon's ass myself. And... That's it. I know y'all was expecting more, but that was that was it. Um, 
must say um that uh that demon won i never when have you seen the exorcist when the demon wins i never seen that before the demon got the person that they wanted like i never seen that before it was not a happy ending this is very tragic Russell Crowe Priest, he got a family. He got friends. Damn. Except for that one dude. There was one dude in the, the Priest Academy or whatever they were doing. And he kept funking with, bro. They were like, God damn. Major beef within the priest. Oh, is that as applicable? Um, anyway. That was uh, The Pope's Exorcist. On Netflix. Yo, watch it. I thought it was good. The critics didn't. But hey, to each their own.